Hello everyone, this is Alex Bevalsik from HowToDoTech.com, and today we're going to be talking about one of the features in the App Store that you probably didn't even know about. So one of the coolest features about iOS 7 actually deals with the App Store, and that is automatic app updates. One of the most annoying things about iOS 7 is the fact that you still have to manually update all of your apps. Now this is something that Android and Windows have both done with their own apps, but iOS is just starting to do now. Now one of the problems is this is not enabled by default. So when you're updating your iPhone, you're not going to automatically get to automatic app updates. In order to get these updates, you need to go into your settings. And once in settings, you're going to want to scroll down to iTunes and App Store. Now once this opens, you'll want to scroll back down. And under Automatic Downloads, you have the choice of music, apps, books. And then the most important one is updates. And make sure that is checked. Once that's checked, whenever a new update is available, it will update your apps without you ever really having to touch anything. The one thing you will have to do, though, if you want to look at the past updates, is when you go under the Update tabs, it shows you when these are updated by date. So if you are wondering what's new in this app, maybe why did Doodle Jump update, and I want to know what has changed. I'll just tap it, and it tells me all the cool new things that have updated in this app, but I didn't really have to uh, know this in order to update the app in the first place. So again, this is going to just be part of ease of use, and it should make your life easier. And if you have any more questions about the App Store or iOS 7 in general, you can certainly email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. You could leave those questions in a comment below, or you can get in touch with us on Facebook or Google+. We are How to Do Tech for both social media sites. Also, click the annotation right now to go to our iOS 7 playlist, and from there, you can see tons of other tutorials about Apple's latest iOS. We know it's a big change, and uh, even though most of these changes are designed, there are some things that you might find a little hard to understand. So, you can certainly click that playlist to go there and learn about more features. Also, subscribe to the channel to be notified when we come up with a new video. You could like this video because it really does help us out. I am Alex Bavalsic, and I will see you next time.